In this lesson, we're going to start looking at how you can add some visual impact to your spreadsheets using SmartArt. SmartArt is a graphics feature that was added to Excel from version 2007 onwards. On this particular worksheet, I've got a small guide here to help anybody using the worksheet to make sure that they enter the data correctly and also save files and make backups. But I'm concerned that people might not notice the list over here. What I want to do is have this list presented with a bit more visual impact. And so to do that, I'm going to use SmartArt. So I'll click the Insert tab and in the Illustration section, just click the SmartArt button there. There's a SmartArt options. Now, basically what I have here is a list of things to do or list of things to be aware of. So in the SmartArt categories, I'm going to click the list option. Obviously, there's quite a range of things to choose from. Some of those are for non-sequential lists. I would prefer to have something sequential. So I'm going to scroll down and have a look, see if I can find something. There's one here near the bottom. If I click on that, let's have a look. And it's called segmented process and it says used to show progression or sequential steps in a task. Well, that's not exactly what I want, but it's pretty close. So I'm going to click OK and we'll take a look at that. You'll notice when the Smart Art appears, you also get at the top of the screen the Smart Art tools and two tabs, design and format. I'm going to focus on the design tab to begin with. And over on the left of the Smart Art design tab, you'll see the create graphics section. And there's a button there that says text pane. I'm going to click on that. And this is one way that you can get text into your Smart Art. The other way is to simply click on the Smart Art object and type. So I'll just type my first instruction, ensure that a backup is made. I've made a typo there, so as with anything, you can just use the arrow keys, go to where the mistake is, press the delete key there, and we're done. Once you've completed your text entry, don't press the enter key. You can simply click away and that text is now part of the Smart Art. If I click back on, you'll see we get the text pane reappear. And the text pane is another place where I can enter the text. But first of all, I'm going to modify the art to get rid of the things I don't want and add a few things that I do want. The things I don't want are these secondary text boxes here. So I could get rid of those by either simply clicking and deleting. Alternatively, I could go to the text pane and delete all the second level bullet points that I don't want. So I could click, for example, in the second row there, just click at the end, use the back delete button, and you'll see there that it will eventually delete that box. And again, I can go through and delete as appropriate. In fact, what I could do is click at the very end and just delete everything. Keep deleting until all I have left is that one box. To add additional boxes to the SmartArt, all I need to do now is press the Enter key. And every time I press Enter, you will see a new bullet point appears on the text pane. And on the SmartArt graphic, a new text box area appears as well. So I'll enter the text for the second box there. This time I'm going to use the text pane. So just click at the end of the second bullet and we'll type in there the second instruction, source of new data. I'll just go through and complete the text entries on this SmartArt graphic. And there's my completed SmartArt graphic with the text entries. If you need to edit or change any of those entries, you can just use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move up and down between the various text boxes and make the changes that you need. However, I'm happy with the content, so I'm going to close down the text pane now and I'll just click the X to remove that. Incidentally, if you want to return the text pane, you can do that. There's a small box next to the Smart Art there on the left. If I click on that, the text pane appears. And if the text pane is in an inconvenient position, you can click and drag and move it to some new location if you want to. And you can also hide it using that same button on the Smart Art there. So if I click, the text pane disappears. Next, I'm going to modify the Smart Art with a bit of formatting. So the first thing I'll do is make sure the Smart Art is highlighted so I get the Smart Art tools. And in the Design tab, the first button you'll probably see is Change Colors. If I click on that, as I move down with the mouse, you can see as I put the mouse over each option, we get a variety of colors. Some of them are different shades of the same color. Others are different colors. You may see different colors because the colors you see here are based on the theme you have selected for the worksheet. However, just for now, I'm going to select this colorful option here. Click on that. I can also change the style of the SmartArt, clicking under SmartArt styles there. There's a drop down, 
and there's a few interesting ones there there's some 3d um, unusual styles that you could try if you want to be more creative i'm going to stay with the standard 2d presentation there if you want to try different layouts you can do that as well if i click on the drop down for the layout section and you can see that the layout box is actually obscuring my particular smart art so i'm going to click at the bottom right there you get the two-way arrow and i can just resize that dialog so i can see the smart art on the worksheet and as i move the mouse over you can see what happens is the existing content is transformed to adopt the new smart art style and you may come across one that you prefer to your original smart art and if you do that you can simply click to select but i'm just going to press the escape key and i'll go back to my original style you can also format individual elements within a smart art by simply selecting so let's just click away so nothing's selected i'll first of all click on the smart art to select the smart art and then i can click on individual parts within it so if i click on the first text box i could go to the format tab and choose shape fill and i could have a different color just for that first one if i prefer like a green perhaps and i can also apply shape effects just to that first one so you get all sorts of maybe a shadow effect as well just click away so there are lots of formatting options there under the smart art formatting and you can also even use the basic formatting tools on the home tab so if i again click on the smart art and type Control a that will select all the text boxes in the smart art if i go to the home tab i can choose bold i can also change the font size just click the drop down there for font size and perhaps choose 20 make it stand out a bit more and you can even change the font color of course click on the color drop down for the font and you can have something that maybe stands out a little bit more strongly like that dark blue and if i'm happy with that i'm going to first of all go back to the worksheet select the cells where my original instructions were and delete those i'm going to click back on the smart art resize the whole thing make it a little bit smaller and then click and drag and position it under my title there let's click away and hopefully that will stand out a little bit more and ensure that people follow those instructions and one more tip if somebody comes along and says that they'd rather have the backup instruction as the final instruction it's not a problem all you do is you click on the smart art go to the design tab first of all click on the one you want to move in this case it's the first one and then click on move down in the create graphic section and as you see that moves down every time I click you can also move it back up of course but we'll leave it there at the bottom click away and that's completed and finally here we have a worksheet with the details of Fred's sales team and he'd like to have that presented in a more visually impressive way and I'm going to create that using the organization chart tool that's found within SmartArt so again just go to the insert tab click on SmartArt this time we're going to go to hierarchy and within hierarchy we have a range of organization chart options Excel 2010 introduced a few more different styles and we'll look at a few of those towards the end but first of all I'm just going to click on the very first one there simple organization chart again if I click that you'll see I have a preview and a description I'm happy with that so I'll just click OK and the organization chart appears and you'll also see at the top there we have again smart art tools with the design and format options so I'm just going to click on text pane so we can see the initial entries there which are obviously all blank as it appears at the moment it seems that my sales executives are directly reporting to the sales manager and I'd rather have them listed underneath each area manager so initially I'm going to remove these third level boxes and to do that just come into the text pane and click at the end of the final entry and I'm just going to back delete until they've all gone so now I have a box for the sales manager and a box for one area manager now I want to add a second area manager so first of all I'm going to come to the bullet point where my first area manager is which is here the second row in the text pane just click at the end there press the enter key and that will automatically add a second box at the same level I can then press the enter key to create a new box and press the tab key to make sure that appears under the area manager again press the enter key and that will create a second box at the same level if I click back onto my first area manager box click at the end of my first bullet in the text pane again press the enter key that will first of all create a box at the same level press the tab key to put it under the area manager 
and again press the enter key to create a second box at the same level. So now I have the structure that I want and the next part of the process is obviously to add our names and job titles. So first of all let's click at the top there next to the first bullet and that will be Fred. To add a second line hold down the shift key and press enter and then I can type the job title in there sales manager and to come down to the next bullet point or the next box in the organization chart I simply press the down arrow key. If you prefer to use the mouse and I'll just go back to my sales manager you can simply click on the appropriate box and that will be highlighted in the text pane as you can see so just click at the end there and I'll enter my first area manager which is John again shift and enter and the job title of course is area manager. For the next two members of staff I'm just going to enter the names for now so that's Jane again down arrow key and David down arrow key again and I come to my second area manager which is Lisa so Lisa shift and enter and I'll type in the area manager press the down arrow key again and I'll just enter the first names for those two salespeople underneath Lisa Carol and Arthur and finally I'll add the job titles so I'll just come back to Jane just click at the end there shift and enter I'll type in their sales I'll call it exec keep it short and this time I'm going to select that one control and C to copy and now I can just go to the end of each name shift and enter and control V to paste and obviously that will automatically update my organization chart so there's all the details entered for the organization chart and I can close that text pane down now don't need that now I can move the organization chart around by clicking and dragging I can resize it by putting the mouse at any of the resizing handles so for example if I go to the bottom right there hold down the shift key to constrain the proportion so it stays in the correct aspect ratio I can maybe make it a little bit larger there if I want to change the colors you go to the design tab under smart tools and of course if you don't see that then simply click where the organization chart is and you will see those tools appear so let's click on change colors and we have a range of options here some of them have all the same colors and some of them have a variety of colors I'm going to choose this second one under colorful and I'm also going to modify it slightly so if I just click on my first area manager box there hold down the shift key click on the second one if I then go to the format tab I can click on the drop down where shape fill is and choose a different color for my second level members of staff there so let's have that blue instead and perhaps I want to modify my third level of staff there so if I just click on the first box hold on the shift key and click on all the ones I want to select again go to shape fill and maybe choose a different color for those members of staff that stands out quite well but let's have something a bit more subtle perhaps that will do and again click away there to see the result if for some reason you need to modify the organization chart let's say we need to add another sales executive underneath Lisa what you do is click on an existing sales executive right mouse click go to add shape and then what you're looking for is to either add shape after or before I'll simply click add shape after and that will add an additional person at the same level let's just click the undo button there and if you wanted to add a subordinate to Arthur let's say he had an assistant salesperson you would right click again and again from the shortcut menu just come to add shape and this time you'll notice there's an option there that says add assistant just click on that that then becomes subordinate to Arthur you can also modify the chart in other ways for example let's say that the sales team on the right are senior to the sales team on the left you can actually lower these boxes so just click and drag to maybe indicate that these people are a bit further down the organization the pecking order or something like that so you can reorganize by clicking and dragging and you can even have the salespeople on different levels underneath the area manager for example I'll just add a name into that box for Arthur's assistant there so all I need to do is simply click type the name and just click away and there's the completed chart if you're curious to know what the other organization chart types look like then you can simply click on the original one I'll just click on the edge there and if you go to the design tab again you have all the different layouts if I click on the drop down there and you can just rearrange that box by clicking the bottom right and dragging if I just move the mouse over you can see how other layouts might appear with those same details 
So you can experiment and just find something that's suitable for your particular organization or situation. I'll leave it as this original one for now. And if you want to have a slightly different look to your organization chart, you can come to Smart Art Styles. If I click on the drop down there, you'll see we have a variety of 3D options to enhance and make your organization chart look potentially interesting or not, depending on your personal taste. So let's choose one of these 3D options there. Let's go for that one at the bottom left. And uh, maybe that would impress somebody. I don't know. You'll notice also, by the way, that the colors have all changed again. So maybe I'll just undo that and we'll go back to how it was before. So let's click away there and I will leave it there. So that's a basic overview of how you create an organization chart using SmartArt in Excel. Add and edit the information and also, of course, apply formatting. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.